Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was thinking about a story that happened a long time ago. A friend of mine and I were walking past the building. Now, this deals with that tenacity that we dealt with on the other two videos. I just wanted to add a few little tidbits so you get some examples of how there are things that you actually can get that normally you would not if you're a people pleaser. But if you have faith to go after something you believe you have a right to, without, I'm not talking about abrasively doing harm to other people, stepping over people to get, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about basic persistence. Now, I want you to listen to this and I want you to hear how comical this story was. Okay. Years ago, once upon a time, there were two young ladies. They were best friends, still best friends to this day. Okay. And this was really comical. One was more pushy. The other one was more settled. Well, of course, the pushy one was me. All right. And she needed to get some information. Let's call her sister Appleseed. She needed to get some information. And we walk up to this building. We were rushing to get to it before they closed. Whoops. Uh-oh. Closed. Sorry. And um, she's getting ready to walk back to the car in disgust. And I said, where are you going? And she looks at me as if to say, duh, closed. And I'm looking at her as if to say, duh, so. <laughs> okay, so we go up. She is ready to go back to the car. And I'm like, no, 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 let's go to the door. Let's see what else it says. So she's like, well, what for? She's annoyed because she's mad they're closed, right? So I said, just watch, just take notes. So I look all in the window. No, I mean, I'm looking and peering. I see a head. Tap, 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 tap. Just the very tip of a head. Look like a head anyway. And the head raises up. And you can see they're looking over the, the top of their cubicle. And they wear clothes. I said, I know. I just want to ask a question. So they get up. They come to the door. My friend is looking at me as if to say, ah, how could you bother people like that? But she needed this information that night before she made her business transaction. And in my mind, oh, you're going to get your answer. So person comes to the door. They crack the door. I'm sorry, we're closed. May I help you? And we say, yes, we don't mean to bother you. Just need one question. And I said, Take it from there. You know, I was being smart. And she's <sighs> all apologetically. Well, I just wanted to know, blah, 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 blah. She asked a question. And they quickly, oh, yeah, you got to do this. You got to do that, blah, 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 blah. And then you call that number, da, da, da. And that was that. She got all the information she needed just like that. The person wasn't annoyed. The person was very pleasant. It didn't take anything out of their day. They were still sitting there. It wasn't like they had their wallet and their keys in hand ready to run out the door. No, they were sitting there. So why not utilize, take advantage of the situation? Did it hurt anybody? No. <laughs> so she got her information and she was able to do what she had to do by the deadline because she was with a hard-headed somebody that would not take closed for an answer. Are you willing to go past the locked door to get your answers? Are you willing to ask again and ask again and ask again and ask again until you get the information you need, until you get the door open that you need open. There's a scripture where Jesus said, ask, excuse me, let me say it correctly. I believe a seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given. Knock and the door shall be open. But the literal meaning of that is seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. Ask.
and keep on asking. It's not time to be politically correct. It's time to go after what God has promised you as if you know you're going to receive it. God bless you.